today or in this video we're going to look at the shapes and then a sketch of the ppc using our production possibility schedule before then don't forget to subscribe like share the link and leave a comment for us to give you more so if you have been given a schedule you can simply draw but before we do that we want to look at the various shapes that the ppf can carry now we have three basic shapes of the ppf the first one is the one that is concave to the origin and it shows the increasing opportunity cost in our subsequent videos we're going to look at what's increasing decreasing and all those opportunity costs are so simply you have this and then it is concave the second one we have is the converse it is converse the origin depicting a decreasing opportunity cost and this is drawn this way we have our x we have our y here and our origin so this is converse to the origin then the third one is just a straight line or a downward sloping curve which shows a constant opportunity course and this is drawn this with just a straight line from the y axis to the x axis now let's look at our schedule now before you draw any possibility frontier you should make sure that um you have certain things in place first of all you see that we have our consumable good which which is a consumable good x and we have machine which is a capital good and is defeated by y so before you draw a ppf make sure that when one of the goods say good x is increasing the other one is reducing so in this case we have zero one two three up to five and as as wheat grows from one uh, zero tons to one tons to two tons up to five tons you see that machine is reducing from fifteen thousand up to zero and then when you when you come to this side starting from zero you see that when machine is zero you have five tons of wheat as machine grows five thousand nine thousand twelve thousand fifteen thousand up to uh, up to fifteen thousand you see that the tons of wheat is reducing from five to zero so you should make sure that as one of the goods increase the other one is reducing so having known this and this is evident on our table or schedule let's go and just draw the ppf mm -hmm. so for my s as is i have zero one two three four five now looking at the figures for y you see that it's up to 15 i can use one is to one so what i will do is that i'll just um sketch by three units so i'm going to have three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen and so on and so forth so i'll start sketching so from the schedule you have zero and fifteen so on my curve zero and fifteen will be somewhere here then we have 1 and 14 so 14 is somewhere here we have one so i'll trace it and then draw then we have 12 and 2 so 12 and 2 will be somewhere here um here then 3 and 9 so 3 and 9 i'll trace and draw yes and then i have 4 and 5 so 5 will be somewhere here trace and draw then uh, 5 and 0 so it will be here so looking at this i can simply join them to get my ppf and when you look at this this is concave so a concave curve shows an increasing opportunity cost as earlier stated